A lot of questions about how to study your word QBank. First, before the study, before the study day word, first, as I told you before in my last video, Kaplan and DVD at least one, or maybe just one, and then first aid twice. Try to understand first aid as much as we can. Sometimes there are some difficult topics, so in di for difficult topic, for difficult topics in first aid, what you will do, you will just mark, try to read it first, and you will just mark the topics because you will see these difficult topics on first aid, you will see it on your word QBank. So when you will see, when you will face some difficult issues in first aid, don't go to look on the internet, no internet. Don't go and look for other resources. No, you will not get the idea. Why? Because it will waste your time. So don't waste your time because you will see a lot of answers for difficult topics, a lot of answers for the topics that you don't understand it. You will see it on QBank, your word QBank. Your word QBank is really amazing teaching tools. So this is before. What What is after? So once you will get First aid done once, you have done with first aid twice, and done with Kaplan before, now you will get to the second point, which is your word EQ bank. Don't jump to, Q word, to your word EQ bank without studying Kaplan first aid twice. So how you will study Q, your word EQ bank? First, you need mixed, then go to subject twice, and time mode. It try to make time. This This is try to make your brain in a control when you control your brain over more less than one minute for each question you will learn your brain how to think for each questions and how to go through differential diagnosis process this is very important so each block for step one around 46 questions once you will done from this you need one hour to done for uh, 46 equations which is basically one block once you will done with this one hour the next step will be rest you will take a rest after that for around one hour or half an hour because if yeah believe me this is only a, even if it is only one block but this is exhausted process because you just learned your brain how to react according to the time and how to manage his time so after this one hour rest you will go now for you will go now for the real thing in how to write or how to study the word. First, let's imagine with me now, this is the case. Now I will draw, uh, I will make just simple diagram. So this is the case, okay? This is question one, let us say, okay? This is the case, here this is the case. And after the case, there are several points, which is A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, right? So now let us say this, whether this is, whether the answer for this case is it true, whether the answer is right or wrong, this is not the issue. What you need to know about each case. First, when you will get to the option, for example, you know, you don't know option A. So this is, uh, you know option B very well. You don't know option C or you don't know, all, okay, and also you have no idea about option E, what is, what talking about. But you are in a good, but I can say, or you are, you know about, you know, you know about B and you know about C. So you don't, you don't need to write down B and C. But at the other, at the other spectrum, you need to write A, C, sorry, and E. You need, you don't need to write A and D, but you need to know, uh, you need to write A, C, and E. Okay, you have to write these down, please. Don't mark. Do not mark on your word question bank. This will not helpful. Write down, although you will consume, consume time, but what you will increase, you will increase your recalling system. And this is what you need for the test. You need to recall the test. You need to recall every idea, each idea within just short time. So how you will write these down? There are two ways of write the options down. First this way and the second this way. You can write this is A and this is B. This is first line, second line, third line, fourth line, and maybe C and D or whatever. 
you can write it you can write it in this down and if you, uh, you you can write it in this way and if you do that this is 100 percent wrong i can say this is 100 percent useless this is useless you don't need just to write it i can say this is really 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 a big loser you will be really a big loser when you will do that because that's mean and and some people also write is and are and that and this this is this is just silly i'm sorry why because you will have if you write each case like this way you will have a you will have a big book for your word notes and you don't need that you don't need a big big materials and another thing this indicates that you don't understand anything if you write down this way, you don't understand anything. So how you will write it? What is the perfect? What is the good way? It is not, there is no perfect in this world. What is the good way to write, to write down the notes? Either you make a tables, you can make a tables because it is just about the differential diagnosis, or you can make some diagrams. Like, for example, you can make this kind of diagram by arrows and then rectangular and then another rectangular and then another arrow as a sequences for every diseases. And after, after that, you have to write down just the keywords, just the keywords for everything, just the keywords, sorry, for each case. No lines, no is, no are, no that. Once you will do that, this will, this will, first you will save more paper. So you will save paper because you don't need book around 400 or 600 pages. So you will save paper. You need just one resource, one resource concentrated, focusing and put in a way that you can understand the point. This is the issue for each cubine. This is the issue for each block. If you will, sure, this will be difficult in the beginning. I can say for the first maybe 10 or 20 block, maybe for 10 block blocks will be difficult. But, but once you will learn your brain, how, once you will learn your brain about the mix and time mood and how you will learn your brain how to react by writing down in a correct way, you will see then, then everything will be easy. And this is also then another disadvantage for tables and diagrams and keywords is what? Also to improve your recall system. Because the problem with you as MLE word, you have a lot of materials. So a lot of people always complain. And I am also the one that used to complain about the, I forget. I forget a lot of stuff. I forget the system. I forget what congenital heart disease, what is cyanosis heart disease. Well, so sure you will forget because you read and you wrote down your note in a really not informative way. So, but you won't write down your note just as a K of keywords, some diagrams, some tables. So it's easy for you to recall it and easy for you to read it at the end of the day. So what is the final thing? So once you will finish this block, maybe this block, by the way, maybe for each block, I can say sometimes for each block, this whole process of writing down and all of these, maybe they take four, three to four hours and it's okay. It's okay. This is your, the money here in the world. If you will take for all of this for three to four hours, you will be fine. By the end of the day, before you will go to bed, you will, you will also review the topics that you already in your books now in an organized way. You can just review it within a few minutes and maybe 30 minutes and then then in this case, I can guarantee you, you will get more than 230. This is our target in the real test. I can guarantee you all the materials that are important for step one in your world. You don't need a lot of resources. Just know how to write down and how to recall your and how to improve your memory. Okay, I hope you get benefit from this video.